Hey Virgo, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I took the entire month of December off um, to finish publishing Tarot School and now it's ready. So if anybody out there is interested to learn how to read the cards the way that I read the cards or if you just want to learn more about what it is that you're seeing in a tarot card reading, you can go to deepthoughtswithdana.com and check out Tarot School. It is a comprehensive seven video series that will take you all the way through the cards and teach you how to read the cards at the end. So there you go. This is a collective reading for the sign of Virgo, which means what? which means it's not your reading. It is absolutely not your personal reading. Do y'all understand how astronomical it would be for this to be your personal reading? I mean, it's it's like impossible. This is the common thread going through um, Virgo. So here you go. If you would like your cards read to get understanding, confirmation, clarity, direction, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, if not me, definitely have your cards read by somebody if you need some guidance and wisdom about what you're about to see here. All right, Virgo, let's do it. Let's do it. So Virgo, the first card out the box is the wheel. Okay, this whole reading is about a turning point in your destiny, a turning point in your life. The results of this reading are going to put you on a new journey in your life. <coughs> Sorry, put you on a new journey in your life. Okay, what is this about? Well, some communication comes into you with the Princess of Swords, okay? Some communication comes into you that puts you in the Queen of Cups in reverse, feeling very emotionally insecure, very emotionally insecure. This communication that comes into you that makes you feel emotionally insecure is returned by you in the energy of the Knight of Swords, right? This is action-oriented. So it's like you're sitting there, some communication comes in, and you're like, what? What? I don't think so. And you return this communication quickly, right? Quickly return this communication. This communication poses a huge challenge for you, and this communication puts you on a brand new journey in your life, okay? So this communication that's coming into you changes everything. Hence the turning point in your destiny with the wheel card and the new beginning, the new journey with the fool. So communication comes into you, makes you feel emotionally insecure and changes everything. Puts you into the energy of the high priestess, right? doing some soul searching, sitting down with your intuition, your subconscious mind, and really, really sorting through whatever it is that's going on here, really sorting through it. What you're contemplating in the high priestess energy is what you want to put your effort into and what brings you happiness with the eight of pentacles in the sun. What do you want to put your effort into and what brings you happiness? Because this information that's coming in is changing everything for you. And what you have to reevaluate is what you're going to do with yourself to, to create happiness in your life. Six of Swords in reverse says that there is uh, a lot of water under the bridge, okay? This card is about baggage. This communication that comes in creates baggage, okay? Baggage that you have to sort through to find out what your happiness in the situation is all about and what you want to engage on and build, Clarified by the death card, something is coming to an absolute ending, an absolute ending based on this communication that came in that made you feel emotionally secure, insecure, which you returned brutal and quick and put you on a new beginning, new journey in your life, death. Something is ending in your life in this situation. Ace of Swords in reverse. This is about dishonesty, okay? This is about dishonesty. This communication that came into you revealed some kind of dishonesty with the Ace of Swords in reverse. No truth, because Ace of Swords upright is truth. In the reverse, it's not the truth, okay? 
King of Swords comes in. This causes you to not only make a decision, but to execute a decision about the situation. This is you throwing the sword down and saying, no, this is not happening. I do not accept this and I am changing my situation right now. We have the five of swords to the six of wands in reverse. Five of swords, betrayal, deception, some kind of shady behavior to the six of swords in reverse. Somebody falls out of your good graces and is now in a state of disrepute. Okay, disrepute. The five of wands, competition. I, I, I want to say competition. There is some kind of competition that has entered into a relationship in your life and you're not having any of it. Queen of Swords in reverse. Not only are you not having any of it, but you are pissed off about it. Pissed off about it. This leaves you in the energy of the Two of Wands. Planning for your future. Looking down the road for your future because this is not it. We have the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point in your destiny, and the Fool, right? A new beginning and a new journey in your life. Whatever just happened right here, Virgo is having none of it. They are super pissed off. I believe it has to do with some kind of competition. And uh, now you are find yourself in the center of your reading, looking down the road and planning your future. To the Justice card, trying to to pull some justice out of the situation, truth, honesty, fairness, cause and effect, cause and effect. What's the cause? Somebody brought some competition into the situation. What's the effect? Virgo leaving the situation and now planning for their future. The star card, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. I'm going to clarify this real quick because I thought I had it pinned, but I just want to clarify real quick. Spirit, tell me. Well, there it goes. Yeah, look to the Hierophant in reverse. So hope, faith, purpose, and renewal because you are shaking loose the commitment that you had to this situation. Shaking it loose, moving out on your own. This is your belief system, your personal beliefs, what you believe about the situation. See, the situation was committed, but it's not anymore with the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, perfect. Perfect. To the devil, some serious toxicity, an attachment that has become a restriction to your personal growth. Some serious toxicity just happened here. Lying, cheating, stealing, betrayal, right? Toxicity, the devil. To the five of pentacles, leaving it out in the cold. To the page of cups. So what this is telling me is that as you make your decision to depart from the situation, the responsible party, the devil, is coming back to you and trying to smooth things over, okay? Trying to smooth things over. Baby, I didn't mean it. Uh, it wasn't what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. And Virgo knows full well, oh, hell yes, it is exactly what I think it is. Exactly what I think it is. And you are leaving this devil energy out in the cold, the message of creation, not having any of it, leaving it all out in the cold, not accepting the apology, not accepting the situation and leaving it out in the cold. Judgment. This is a decision that changes the trajectory of your life. Hence the wheel and the fool, right? A turning point in your destiny and a brand new beginning, a brand new journey in your life. This is the decision that you're making right here with this king of swords, right? And, and the justice card, right? This is the decision that you're making. It's going to change the trajectory of your life and point your life in an entirely different direction. Eight of swords caught up in your head, 
right? Trying to think about what kind of movement that you need to make in order to change the situation. The energy of this Eight of Swords is, what do I do? 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 And as soon as she calms down, she's going to come to the mental realization of what she does need to do to change her situation. And hence, whoa, <laughs> hence the judgment card, making a decision to change your situation. Because there was a grievous injustice committed against you. A grievous injustice committed against you. Dishonesty, unfairness, a lack of accountability. There was an injustice in this situation. What was it? Well, the Queen of Wands. This is my other woman. Somebody brought another person into this relationship. Or not into this relationship, into the 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 devil okay the devil energy um the devil is messing around with queen of wands that's the injustice the devil is messing around with the queen of wands they have manifested a third party situation the hangman right this is you virgo pausing processing Figuring out what the hell just happened to my life in your own energy, the hermit energy, doing some soul searching and some introspection to the Ace of Cups in reverse about how things just blew up in your face, how things just blew up in your face, how sad and heartbroken you are that your person who's showing up as the devil is playing with the Queen of Wands, third party situation. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is Virgo having a lack of ambition to, to even carry on in this situation. Virgo's like, Psst. disregard for skills with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This, priest, this person completely and totally has disrespected you. Completely and totally disrespected you. Clarified by the Nine of Wands in reverse. Hesitant, defensive, just not even, not even. Just not even. Death in reverse. This is twofold right here. This is Virgo having a personal transformation about the situation. And this is Virgo purging bullshit out of their life. Purging bullshit out of their life. Yeah, look, the Nine of Pentacles. Any further engagement in this situation is simply an overinvestment and a waste of my time and effort. Four of Swords, contemplating in a defensive posture your next move. Three of Cups, because of, in reverse, because of a third party situation that came in and, and uh, fucked everything up. Third party situation, clarified by the High Priestess in reverse, disconnected from your intuition. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see it coming. Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Bunch of bullshit. To the chariot in reverse. Opposition, no movement, no growth. This third party situation is the opposition to the forward momentum of this relationship. <laughs> Breaks, stops right here, right now. Four of Wands in reverse communication breakdown and a transition out of this relationship to the queen of pentacles the card of virgo okay queen of pentacles upright is somebody who holds title in somebody else's life this is you used to hold title in this devil's life right but not anymore virgo is leaving the room virgo has gone the Hermit again, your energy again, doing some soul searching and some introspection to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse about this lost opportunity. The Hangman in reverse, resistance, stalling, right? This, this right here is Virgo giving it a think, giving it a think in the Hermit energy, right? doing some soul searching, some introspection, trying to seek some inner guidance, trying to light the way, right? 
thinking real hard about this lost opportunity, that, that, that your life that just blew up in your face. To the hangman in reverse, this is resistance, this is stalling, this is, this is wondering if this can be recovered, this two of cups love relationship, can it be recovered? To the princess of wands, can there be exploration and discovery? Can we save this relationship? To the prince of pentacles, because you're stuck right? You're stuck kind of in the past. You're kind of, you kind of, I mean, this all happens so quickly that it's, it's just, it's blowing your mind, right? It's blowing your mind. But ultimately what you decide is the chariot to take some action, to move forward and move out of this relationship to the five of pentacles and leave it behind you, leave it out in the cold, leave it behind you and just move on and carry on with your life carry on with your life because Virgo, Virgo doesn't entertain any kind of a third party situation. Sorry, it's earth energy and earth energy just simply is not going to entertain somebody else being uh, in my partner's energy. So let's pull a numerology oracle card for you. Spirit, what is your advice for Virgo right here? What does Virgo need to know? 66 healing. Let's read it from the book. Let's read it from the book. 66 healing. Healing. This card indicates a time to focus on your healing abilities and being of service to others. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to expand your understanding of the healing arts and the many different ways to heal. Perhaps you feel drawn to Reiki, kinesiology, physical therapy, homeo homeopathy, acupuncture, nursing, counseling, or life coaching. Whichever path you choose, it's time to set the wheels in motion. This card may also indicate a need to receive healing. Your energy field absorbs and stores energy from other people. Electrical equipment, every illness and trauma in your surroundings and your own negative thoughts and emotions. Therefore, it's important to clear your aura regularly to alleviate, to elevate your health and well-being in your overall quality of life. So, yeah, there's definitely a need for healing here because if you've been around all this toxicity um, and all of this, uh, especially if you've been intimate with this person while they're being intimate with this queen of wands, it's especially important to cleanse yourself, to cleanse all of that off of you and out of you and heal and, and heal yourself from this situation. So there you go, Virgo. Uh, sorry about that, but nevertheless, have no fear because spirit says the wheel, a turning point in your destiny is where this is all taking you. Learn what you need to learn about yourself from this relationship and take it into the future as a stepping stone and a building block by which you will be stronger and better in the relationships that come down the road for you. Namaste.